Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to show you how to solve the lowest common ancestor of a binary tree problem. So this one is not a binary search tree. This is a binary tree, which is different. So given a binary tree, find the lowest common ancestor, LCA, of two different nodes in the tree. According to the definition of LCA on Wikipedia, the lowest common ancestor is defined between two nodes P and Q as the lowest node in the tree that has both P and Q as descendants, where we allow a node to be a descendant of itself. Given the following binary tree, this one right here, they give you this example number one, P equals five and Q equals one. As you can see, the lowest common ancestor of, of five and one is three. So the output is three. Example two, P equals five and Q equals four. What's the lowest common ancestor between 5 and 4? It's 5. Why? Because of the definition here. It says that a node, you can allow a node to be a descendant of itself. So you have 5, 2, 4. So you can say that 5 is the lowest common ancestor between 5 and 4. So how can we solve this problem? This problem is similar uh, to the one we did before. So we can do it recursively, also iteratively, but I think recursion is going to simplify the work here. So how can we solve it? This is also similar to another problem, the one that is finding an intersection in two linked lists. So we can actually do recursion. We can start at the top of the tree and we can find um, if P is in the left of tree. We can also find if Q is in the right subtree. If I find that P is in the left subtree and Q is in the right subtree for any node, let's say for this node, then I know that this is the node that is the lowest common ancestor. For example, if I'm looking for the lowest common ancestor between six and four, that is five. How do I know? Because if I start here at five, and I look for six on the left subtree and I find it, and I look for four in the right subtree and I find it, doing a post-order traversal of the tree, then I know that five is my is my lowest common ancestor because I found six on the left and I found four on the right subtree. But if I start here at three and I'm looking for six in the left subtree and, and four in the right subtree, then I will only find the values in the left subtree. They will not be on the right subtree. So I'm going to do a post-order traversal. Looking first, I'm going to look for the left value on, on the left subtree and also the value in the right subtree. If I find that if I find both values, one in the left subtree and one in the right subtree, then I found the lowest common ancestor. Which one is the lowest common ancestor? The root. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I'm going to say, if the root equals equals no, that means if if I wasn't able to find it, then the root is going to be equal to null, so I have to return null back up to indicate that I was not able to find the node on this on this subtree. Or root equals equals b, that means that as I was traversing the tree, then I found p. So if I found P, I return it back up. Or root equals equals Q. The same idea. If I found Q, then I return it back up. Then I return the root. That's going to handle those three cases. If I don't find it, if I find P, or if I find Q, I, f I return it back up, whatever I find. Okay. As I said, I'm going to do a pre uh, post-order traversal. And the first thing I want to get is the left subtree, if I, uh, the node. I want to see if I found the node on the left subtree. So I'm going to say pointer to node, the left gets a value of lowest common ancestor. So moving to the left subtree, root that left, P, Q. So P and Q stay the same because I'm looking for P and Q. But the root goes to, changes to the left because I'm, I'm moving to the left subtree. Then I need to find the right subtree. I need to find 
on the right. Pointed to the right. That's the value of lowest common ancestor. Moving to the right, root that right, P, Q. Okay. Now, I want to check. So let's say I'm, I'm here in this node. So this is the root. I went to the left subtree looking for a number. I went to the right. And I found one in the left and one in the right. How do I know that I found them? I check. If left is not equal to null and right is not equal to null, that means that I found one value on the left subtree and the other node I found it on the right. That means that this is the lowest common ancestor. So I return this node, which is the root. If that's not the case, well, maybe if that's not the case, what happened is that maybe you found one value or maybe you didn't find any value. So you can say return left is not equal to no. If left is not equal to no, that means that you found something on the left. So you return left. Otherwise, you return right. So this is going to handle those cases. If you found something on the left, you return that value up. If you uh, found something on the right, then you're going to return right. And if both values were null, then you're going to return null to indicate that there's no lowest common ancestor. I'm going to run the code. It seems to be working fine. Submit the solution. All right, so this is 7 milliseconds faster than 71.09% of Java Online submissions for this problem. So as you can see, uh, we're just doing a post order traversal here. Um, and the time complexity here is big O of n, where n is the number of nodes in the tree. Please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.